All right, so we, I had to get my, um, my cell phone topped up on my eSIM. And so we went over to Central Festival or Central Samui. Sometimes it shows up on the phone. And so Steve has driven us there and is driving us back. I think he is going to be our chief driver uh, while we are here. And then I'm going to be the driver most of the time when we are in is this my left? Chicago. This is your left. So, so in the United States, of course, the steering wheel is on the left side. And here in Thailand, the steering wheel is on the right side. Therefore, left turns are, are easy and right turns are more difficult, which is the opposite of the way things are in the States. So um, people, people just sort of are patient and take their turns here. And if you see an opening, you cautiously move into to things. Um, turn signals are used most of the time as they are used most of the time uh, in Chicago. And the one thing Steve said, and I think this is going to be true for anybody who is going to be driving a car on Koh Samui is if, if you are thinking about changing a lane in any form or fashion, you want to make sure you check both mirrors because motorcycles and scooters do have a tendency to just change lanes, zip past you, zip zip, when, um, when they think they have an opportunity to do so. So it's, it's incumbent upon the car driver to, um, to make sure you're not going to hit anybody while changing lanes. So it was a, it was a pretty quick trip to Central Samui from where we're staying, which is at Replay Residences. Uh, we moved from the Ibis, it's how they pronounce it here, because our room was pretty small. It was, it was a nice place, it was, a, it was a good price, but there were five of us in a room that was really meant for two adults and three small, or sorry, two adults and two small children without three cats and, you know, 10 suitcases. So, so this was our move and we think it's a pretty good one. Uh, it's, it's near Bang Rack Beach here. Uh, you do have to kind of keep an eye out. You notice that taxi cab sort of beaked his little nose out into the street a little bit. So um, people will generally beak out as far as they can see and then wait. Uh, or sometimes they just make a move if they think that they see far enough away. All right, so this is our drive back to, to replay and uh, we'll, we'll catch up later.